Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to change company type in client configuration of Microsoft Dynamics AX. Well, I have installed Microsoft Dynamics AX on this computer, and uh, the AOS server is also installed on this computer, and uh, the client is installed here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go in administrative tools and go in client configuration. Here it says Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 configuration double click on that here's the configuration right now is the original installed configuration what we're gonna do is click on manage and create configuration so we're gonna name our configuration my config client and if we click on active configuration it's gonna load our my config client if we do original configuration it's gonna keep it and then give us option to load uh, manually so we're gonna go ahead and click OK as you can see the log directory partition and up here is the company so whatever the company is legal entities and companies in your Microsoft Dynamics AX you can change it but I'm going to uh, type up here uh, that is CEU that is my company and you can put a startup message this is CEU company and let's look at the uh, different configuration other configuration in this client here's the connection connection will show you that what AOS it, it's connected to uh, the AOS is AX prod uh, TCP IP port is 2712 which is default and WSDL port is 8101 that is also default you can uh, edit this configuration right here if you wanted to um, point this client to some different uh, Microsoft Dynamics um, AX uh, AOS server you could do that but keep in mind that you need to I have all this um, handy you need to know all this information if there are multiple clients installed in this particular server then you, this will actually when you edit it it'll show you and you browse it'll show you different instances of AOS so here's the developer tab developer tab is application object layer to open is user layer right now you can click here and change if you wanted to change the layer uh, also you can enable the breakpoints uh, to debug code and business connector uh, from the development side you could do that right here and performance tab it's automatically configured right now you could do all the uh, information you can change all the information here like least memory balanced balanced response time etc so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit apply and click OK and that has changed the configuration of our client if we right click and run as an administrator you will see that message appear up here right here the default company does not exist because we have changed the company so what we're gonna do is go to the properties The reason it's uh, giving us this error because I have changed to CEU uh, and that company really does not exist. So let's look at the company right now that what we have. So we're going to go administrative tools and we're going to go in server configuration. I'm, I'm sorry, client configuration. We do have, I do have a company of called Tech Brother. So we're going to apply that click OK and now I can run as administrator and uh, it should load this is CEU company as you can see the message is right here while this message is uh, I didn't change it to tech brother because uh, um, I, I just want, wanted to change the company that we have I have on my, my um, AOS server so that means if you click OK that's just gonna load some of the settings that related to that legal entity or the company that I have created and I hope it helps